and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In today's video I'm revisiting uh, the city world uh, to, to show you how to build my custom house that I recently designed by myself using TFMC inspired builds. Uh, this build is very simple, all it really requires is cobblestone. So I say, all it really needs is cobblestone. When I can find it. Yeah, we need cobblestone. The wood of your choice. So for me, I used I used spruce in the original, but I've noticed that birch tends to look quite nice, so I'm going to go with birch for this build. You need the birch wood itself, birch log, and then the birch wood plank. You can use a glass of whatever choice of your glass of your choice. So I'm going to use plain glass for mine. You also need some a roof cut roof type of your choice. So I, I did oak wood for my new one, but I'm going to use spruce for it on my new one because it's original. It looks quite nice. And I'm going to use spruce wood planks or slabs, should I say? Sorry, spruce wood slabs. This is going to be for the roof. Just then, also to finish it off, you also need some cobblestone wall uh, I believe that's it let me just check cobblestone yep 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 there we go so we have everything we need so I'm gonna go ahead and build my little house here in this area so it is not too big it's quite a simple build however you might want a bit of extra room if you want to extend it back or further along to have more room in. Uh, so the way we're going to start is we're going to start with the shop section or the brewing room, whichever way you want to use it. In my version, I use it as a shop. Uh, however, I'm going to make it into my uh, potions room. So we're going to start with that, which consists of just cobblestone, uh, the stairs, and slabs. So we're going to for now we're just going to put these away. We don't need these. We just need these four items here. But we also we're actually wouldn't need birchwood just to label out the where the house is gonna go. So we'll move these further along because we don't need these just yet. So the shop starts off by doing five wide long bottoms. So one, two, three, four, five. Build up the sides. One, two, three. So you have this little pattern here. So the way this shop works is it's very similar to TSMC's shop one. So very small house. So you bring up bring out the sides by two, one, two. Turn around to the back and place your stairs backwards. And this is the little shop section. Place two cobblestone walls on top. Let me just double check. I feel like I'm missing something, but I'm not. So, yeah, this is how the shop looks. Uh, you can bring it back as many as you want, but the first thing we're going to do is add our birch wood planks here, two, three, up, up three, on both sides. So one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so this is the first part that you want to have. Just a nice, simple sh shape, like so. Now we're going to move on to the house section, and this is how we determine where each of the sections is. This has two floors. It has the bottom floor, which features the shop and all the sort of enchanting but brew. Uh, crafting and a bit of storage as well as the enchanting table so what we do is so just to start off get your cobblestone and place it behind the birch wood like so next take your birch wood planks and we're going to go three along so one two three another cobble another three one two three another cobble one two three and then a cobble and that is the front of the house so this has two windows on the front and then it has <coughs> a door, same as the side, it will have two on the side, two on the back and none on the side. The way this little house works is quite simple, we literally just bring this wall back here and the way this works is from the shop, the shop starts here from this inside block. So where this wall is, ignore this and bring it in one, bring it back two, three. Place the birch here, leave a gap, place the birch here, and then we're going to do it again. So one, two, three, four. So the way this side works is you have one, two, three, four, then there'll be a birch here. So 
then it goes one, two, three, with a birch here and a birch here. This is the back of the shop, where the back of the house will go. We know this because when we put the cobblestone here, it will give us this effect, which is what we're looking for. Bring up the walls to this whole shop part here, like so. Don't worry about this for a second, just worry about the walls. Bring them up three high. Same as all the birch wood logs. Bring them up to the roof, like so. Now the way this house works is it's quite simple. We're going to go to the side here and we're going to continue the pattern. So we're going to go one, two, three with a cobble. One, two, three with a cobble. Bring it around to the back and we're going to copy the front. So one, two, three, cobble. One, two, three, cobble. One, two, three. So here is how the house gets separated. So we're going to bring all these parts up like so. So they're all three high. We'll do the windows in a minute. What you can now do with your birch wood plate, I should just bring them up now like this and break the middle block on all of them. Except for this one here, we're going to break the bottom two middle ones so that we have our door. So the front should look like this. Next on the side, we're going to bring it all the way around. So just bring out all these wall, these parts here across. Stab the middle with no door. Now this back part leads to our farm. However, you can do it in two ways. You can either have the door in the middle or you can have it on the side. I tend to have it on the side just because you can then put storage here. Like so. Bring them up inside so that you have your little storage area as well as your uh, crafting area. So we'll, de we'll show you how to decorate the inside uh, a bit later on, but for now let's show you how to build. So the way this works now is we can start trying to separate the build into two. So add birch all the way around the cobble so it blocks it in like so. So just like I said, this house has two floors. It has the first floor, which is basically this whole floor here, and the second floor, which goes up here. The way we separate the second floor is quite simple. First of all, we're going to build add the roof to the shop because the shop section is what we need to work on here. So you can redo is place a block on top, uh, like so. Place this two blocks out, and then come back in and place the stairs facing forwards. This stair can go all the way across to this block here. So one, two, three. Let me just make sure I'm looking at this right. Sorry, no, bring this forward, my bad. I'm messing this up. So yeah, bring it forward to here. One, two, three. And bring it out of the edge by, I believe it's one. Let me just have another look. Yeah, so bring it out so it overhangs the edge like this, or you can do it one extra like so. Ideally, you don't have to do it this way, but I like doing it like this because it then separates this uh, up. Bring it back. Bring it back. <clears throat> okay, and I'm back. So, like I say, with the roof, just bring the roof forward all the way so it overhangs this. So it joins up with that little plank there. Again, you don't have to do this with all of them. Just this. Then overhang it by one. 
this middle one here we're going to leave for a second so bring this forward so it should have one two three four so yeah, this end one here just get rid of it you don't need that so this whole shot now is complete uh, but i said leave that end one because we're going to do something different with that one but we need to grab another item which i forgot yeah, quickly but for now what you're going to do, obviously you're going to place the same colour, you're going to place the same wood that's on the thing. So obviously we use, we use uh, spruce wood for this. So we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a spruce wood. Like so. So there is the shop. Now to build the next floor. This is where it gets a little bit complicated guys, so do try to keep up. So obviously we're going to bring this across, we're not going to bring it all the way just yet. I'm going to explain why in a minute. Uh, for now you can just bring it to this wall here, on top of this little roof section, and we'll come back to that in a bit. Actually no, while we're here I might as well show you how, what you can do here. So here you can actually increase this so it has a little balcony effect, by facing one, two, three, one, two, like so. So it overhangs the house a little bit, so you have a nice little balcony area, and it looks quite nice as well. Next, we're going to work on the actual house part. So, what we need to do for this is add another layer of birch wood on top of all of this. So everything you see here within this cobble, just add another layer of birch, and that will it will become clear in a minute. So where where we're building the birch now is where our floor is going to be for the next level. So we just join this up together like this with a sprue, uh, cobble in the middle and bring that cobble all the way to the floor. It will become clear why in a second. So I said this is the floor right here. So just fill all this in with birch wood or whatever whatever type of floor you want. I'm going to use birch wood because it's easier. Okay, so now we have the basic design of the house. So what we're going to do is we're going to build the windows the same as the bottom floor. So every window goes up like so. So that we have the gap in the middle. So then just bring the cobble up to the top like so. So all of these from this floor come up by one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then just bring up the cob bring up the birch to the same level. Like so. Now to make it a little once I've I'll show you what to do in a minute, but let me for now just finish off this so we can see what we've got to do next. So as I said, bring up all the cobble cobble to the same height. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And as I said, these are all windows here, so just go ahead and fill them in. You can make this the window or you can leave it blank, it's up to you. I like to have it as a window because it lets in more light. This is the actual build. So that all in the middle have windows. So break the heart there, just build it up and break. Build it up and break. Build it up oh, and break the middle. So there we go, there is our house. So all we've got to do now is just bring up the birch to the same level, like so. So the way this house works is it gets separated into two. So with your birch, once we've got, let me just build up all these things, I'll show you what I mean by that. So we break this house into two so that people can tell it's there. So now we have a nice little entrance here. And what you could do here is bring break this one here and bring it across so it's opposite the door. So then we have a four gap here and this will be used later on uh, for now we'll leave it as it is but we'll come back to it because we can add a, we can add a portal here but i will show you what to do for that later for now we'll leave it as it is and come back to it so with the birch wood go to the level which we use to separate the floor so this level here between the gap and just place that birch wood all the way around don't worry about these corners they're meant to look like that and just bring it all the way around so that it joins up with the front. So now you see that it's split into two separate builds. So we have the bottom floor and the top floor. So this is the, what we should have for our house now. A little bit confusing, I know. Apologies if I went a bit too fast there. Uh, just re rewind 
and watch what I did again so you can understand. Uh, so now we've got this, we can go ahead and add ourselves a roof to this floor because this is now done. First things first though, you want to break a hole in the middle so you can get up and access to each of the floors. Uh, so now, yeah, so now we're going to go ahead and build the roof. So the roof works well, very similar to this one here except it goes in opposite direction. So we're going to take our cobble here and we're going to bring it out by two this time, not one so it overhangs a little bit. And we're going to bring it just past this house here so it gives us the effect that it over definitely overhangs. And same for this side as well, we want to overhang one so that when we add this to the build, we're going to go over by two, bring it around all the way, same for this side, all the way down and just fill this entire area in with the wood of your choice. I'm just going to use the spruce and fill it with spruce wood slabs. It does take a while and obviously if you do mess up you have to break it and then replace it That's so, like I just did there. So make sure you focus when doing this and get it in the right place otherwise you will have to rebuild and it's a pain in the ass. So yeah, there is house so this is officially complete the root house is completely done now now I can show you how to light it now I'm going to show you how to do the interior uh, so first things first let me just break this so I can at least bring it up to the path and make it functional in my little world I haven't been on this, I haven't been in this world in years Just like that. Right, now I'm back. So yeah, join. Obviously, if you're building it in C1 like I have, join it out to the path. You can join it out so, or you can join it out to the actual house. Like this. Obviously, I used in my one. I used a uh, path rather than a block. But obviously, this is my C1, so I'm gonna keep it to the pattern. So there you go. There is the design of the house, 100% complete. Like I said, now to add the decoration part. So obviously, go ahead and add windows to all of the places that need a window. Make sure you fill in all the gaps so there's nothing showing. Like so, Win oh no, not log. And like I said, the back, you can have a door to the garden. I'm going to place my one here. Okay, so now to build the actual garden. So the way the back garden works is it's basically the farm area. So take this block here and extend it back as far as you want. I'm only going to do it a small one for now, or quite big. And obviously you can place things under it and then go to 
go to this corner here to join it up. So this entire area here is basically our farm area at the back of the house. There should, if I've worked it out correctly again, be enough to build a boundary around the edge and have five of the five of these plus so obviously I will show you a underground part later on which is what I did. So obviously you can fill all this in with cobble to build the pathway so that you have your little walking area. And that's it. Now that we have it there should be enough to do two rows of everything. So two, 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 and then there leaves the two. So there you go. You have enough to the paint five fields of whatever plant you're growing. Obviously I'm not gonna do it properly now, but the idea of it is this whole area now is your farm area. So I'm gonna show you the decoration part. Uh, inside you can do whatever floor you want. On my original I just used the spruce wood. Uh, to, 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 to build. For this I'm gonna I will for the shop I'm gonna use birch because it's a birch house. Uh, but yeah, there is an underground part to this, but what I'll do is I'll build that separately in a separate video a bit, uh, another time because this has already been 21 minutes and I still haven't actually perfected the underground part to be able to build it yet. But the underground part basically features your sugarcane farm and uh, or if you want it and you are if you're doing your that mod modded world where you have a cobblestone generator kind of thing that you need cobblestone to pay for things or if you need to build with cobblestone tons of things then that's what you use that underground part for basically your generator so now we've done with the decoration part let's just go ahead and fill in all the parts I need to be filled in like so this is it so get rid of all the items you need, we're going to go ahead and start decorating. So first things first, you need access to the to second floor which is basically the bed. <gasps> oh no wait, apologies guys, don't do that yet. There is a balcony, you, this is optional. So there is, we'll go to the second floor and I'll show you how to build the balcony. Again it is optional, you don't have to add it if you don't want to. I want, I added it because I think it looks quite good. So yeah, ladders all the way to the top and this section up here. Mm -hmm. Just as final time I've okay. So, like I was saying, this top floor here is going to be our storage room as well as the bedroom. So, what you can do is all these middle blocks go ahead. Well, actually, no, you can only break two of this. So, break the front, break the back, and the right hand, or if you're looking at it, the back and the left. This part here, we're going to leave as double for now, and I'll explain why in a minute. This is basically where the balcony is at, in fact, and I don't have to explain it. So break that cobble and just change it with the birch, and then come out here uh, and change that to that. Now, with your birch, come two out from the f on, on both of these sides, one, two, and join them up in the middle, like so. Go ahead and change these so they're facing. There's a way to do this. I don't, know how to do it. Uh, don't do that for now. For now, just fill in the middle with whatever 
wood you want. I'm going to use the birch because it matches. And grab yourself uh, whatever fetish you want. I'm going to use birch because it's a birch house. That makes more sense. So yeah, there's our birch. Now go below and place these down. So that way they're not sticking out and at least it hides it a little bit better. But there you go. So that's the balcony. Again, it's optional. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. Just change, take that and change that to that. And take that. There we go. So there you go. That's the back. That's the roof. Uh, grab the glass. Just grab the glass with me and fill it in. So yeah, fill in all these holes with glass. Right. So there is no way to get on here because if you want to build on this part, as you see, it just hovers. So this part is just basically a little back roof area. If you want to make this a bit fancy, you can, as sure as you can, bring this in, a couple. So it has more of a overly shape, but that's optional. Let's get rid of that. I haven't done that on my original, but I think it looks quite okay. It looks okay now, because it has that, that little shape part. Obviously, you will need to place like a torch up the back here to stop mobs spawning, but that's, again, can't really hide it so the best way to do this is just grab a little grab a uh, like that and then place a lantern you don't have to add a lantern I, I haven't had a lantern on, on mine but you can if you want to just place a lantern there wrong way around so I need to go up one up down and then place it like that so that then stops mobs spawning here and also gives a little bit of light on the outside you can again you can add Lanterns, if you want, so I'll place you can place one there on the front, place one here or on the hanging part. Again, it's optional what, what you place. I place torches in mine, but because obviously it hides a little bit better. So I come inside and I'll start showing you how to decorate now. So, like I said, this is the this is the optional. This is either a shop, a bedroom, or you can make it into your brewing room. I'll come back to that in a sec. But now let's go ahead and build the enchanting room. So the enchanting room goes in this corner here and it fits quite nicely on the edge like so. So you just place the enchanting table in the middle and join it all the way around and just build up. Obviously you can leave windows open to let in some light if you want to. There is our enchanting room. And then in this corner, just go ahead and place yourself your anvil. Right, so. Again, you can add storage here as well. Just dig down the floor. And then place birch and place chests there and there. It's up to you. I haven't done that. I've placed my storage chest outside. So that you can at least access it. Just place it there and that's your... Or there and that's your little storage chest for all your crafting things uh, this is little corner here is for our crafting and brewing so obviously I'm going to grab one of everything so just grab that your blast furnaces and your smokers like so uh, then this corner is the little farm storage so everything related to your farm will go in here or if you want if you want to use more storage just place barrels so like I said this part back here is basically our farm so grab yourself some soul sand if I can remember where it is soul soil I don't know what it goes on okay. Question me if I'm wrong. Again, I haven't really done brewing in a long time, so I'm glad we never watched. It, it is soft sand. Why am I? There it is. Soft sand. So just let go of all your stuff in there and place your. Well, you can place trapdoors or you can place stairs so you can access it. I'm going to play strap doors just to hide it a little bit more. Again, you can place whatever trap doors you want. I'm just going to use dark oak because I can. Uh, obviously, you can get whatever you want. And for now, I'm just going to place 
Uh, I'm going to use. No, I'm going to change that and actually make this into this. Obviously, you want a chest to do storage. And these, as I said, are going to be. You can change these into barrels so that you can have a bit more extra storage. Here. And then, obviously, your building stand will go on top, like so. And like I said, then you've got your little shop. So, obviously, this corner here will be obviously we'll, as I said, this is going to be where the underground part goes but for now we'll leave that just so we can focus on what we need to do first uh, you can build a little back storage section here obviously people will be able to see it but that doesn't really matter too much as I said this is going to be the shop you can put a couple here and here so it's like a single window so that people can't really get into here but I like doing it as a triple window so that way you can put glass here and make it a working shop but yeah that's the craft that's the uh, potions room again there will be more detail added below this but for now that's that uh, and as I said that's basically the downstairs area you can add a bit of light if you want as I said for lights all you got to do is break these parts here and add torches or if you have glowstone tons of it use glowstone, I'm going to use torches for now just because that's what's in the original ok we'll come back to the farm in a bit but actually while I'm here let's go show you that little 4x4 four four area so what you want to do is first of all just break all this into underneath as cobble like so and then grab yourself your obsidian here. So with the obsidian you're just going to break the two middle blocks, come up by three on both sides, one, two, three, and break the two top blocks. Obviously you don't really see this, but that's fine. And there you have your nether portal. Uh, let's go ahead and light it. Obviously it doesn't mean you'll hear it, but that's not something you have to worry about it too much because unless you're physically that's all that's right. Let steal. And like, so there you go, there's your portal. Uh, obviously with these parts back here, you can change these into your water sources. Because nothing really goes in here, so you just do that and that. And there's your another new water source. Change this into cobble because it's in the path. And as I said, the outside you can decorate it however you want. I'm going to leave it as it is for now. The idea is under this is whatever you want. So normally I'd be cobble and then this is like a wooden path. But for now I'm going to leave it as it is. As I said, this is basically a farm. So just put this for this area in water. Oh, wrong one. <coughs> so again just change put this as your farm uh, you can have whatever you want it's just, normally I've put carrots, potatoes, wheat uh, stuff like that as the sugar cane will go underneath in the, the hidden part but we'll come back to that so then we go to the second floor which as I said is the storage room and the bedroom so all you want to do really for this is this fits in quite nicely all around the edges just go like so and there is your upstairs storage room if you want to add anything different just change these to these and obviously you can put it on the roof and they got this on the roof uh, so what you can do then is hopefully if you can anyway yeah just leave them as it is and then in the corners like so what you can do up here as well is just add a crafting table so that we haven't got to keep going downstairs to get things. If you want extra storage then just in each of the corners like so just place a uh, 
a barrel like that and then you've got a bit of extra storage here and there uh, grab yourself a door any door is fine any wooden door obviously if you are living in a village I recommend placing a iron door downstairs uh, I can't, I can't, there we go. so this will be an iron door if you're living in a village but for now this is not a village I'm just gonna go ahead and do that place a door there and there you have it guys there is your custom house uh, again obviously upstairs is the bedroom so if you when you do get it all you need to do is grab yourself a bed I'm gonna grab a green bed since it's obviously my colour and the bed just goes right in the middle there again for lights just literally add torches or glowstone and place them in the middle like so let's have a little bit of light and then obviously if you want to add some more light just place them in the corners like that don't need to worry about the top too much but if you want to do it like that and there you have your uh, again if you want to add a bit more decoration to the, your bedroom or your storage room just get a bit of carpet when I can find it And just literally do that. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it's just an idea of what you can do to make this house just a little bit better. The cool thing about this is obviously if you have some glowstone, you can just put the glowstone behind there, and that also gives you some light sources. But for now, there you have it. This is our house, 100 custom house, complete. Again, I will do like a separate video for the underground part once I have finished it. Uh, to make this, actually before we do, before we do, before we do, you can add one more thing uh, around the side. So to make it just that bit more decorated on the outside, just go around with some uh, oak leaves or whatever leaves you can get your hands on at the time. And just fill in the middle of the window, like so. And obviously, if you want to add a little bit of decoration up front, you can just do some bone meal and make it a little garden kind of thing. But there you have it, guys. There is our custom tap, custom TFMC styled house, 100% complete. Quite simple, quite fun really easy to follow along with if it wasn't again I will try and get better at doing this tutorial kind of build thing for you guys but this look this is actually this is a really cool design house and I actually really like it it's, it's not it's not too difficult it has enough storage to keep you going it has everything you need or that you mostly would need it doesn't take up too much room And again, it's a really cool design that I came up with myself using videos that I've seen from the past. But there you go, full 360 view, guys. Also, there's obviously you can change once you do this, turn it into a farm. But there is the full 160 farm. And obviously, guys, this is optional again before I finish. You can, if you want to, make this a little flower garden. Obviously, you won't be able to see it from inside, but it is optional. You can put a few flowers here and there like for example put a little plant pot here or inside the shop again it's all optional you don't have to do it it's up to you basically but that's it guys my name is Sims Below thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video peace out